There is a rather cliched proverb that runs a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. Most people are not aware where it's derived from. It's most likely to have been derived from Alexander Pope and to have appeared in his essay on criticism in 1709. And the actual original quote, a little learning is a dangerous thing. Drink deep, a taste not the period in spring. Their shallow drafts intoxicate the brain and drinking largely sobers us again. I'm reminded of it every day when I see the wonderful sort of videos by people trying to push race baiting nonsense. And I'm forced to turn yet again to Simon Webb this morning. Here's Simon Webb's proposition this morning. He put, did a video called The Vitamin D Connection, a possible reason why black people do not flourish in Europe. Now, on its own as a title, you could actually work with that, although it would depend what you meant by flourish. But at about 20 seconds in, he comes forth with this, which may be viewed as a proposition. In this case, a riddle to be addressed is a chronic lack of achievement by academic and social of people living in Western Europe who are of sub-Saharan African ancestry and history. This includes, of course, most Caribbeans. He just chucks that out there as though it's a proved thing, as though that's it. And he's used two documents. Now, these documents have been written by PhDs <laughs> who hold STEM qualifications. Now, Simon was challenged by si another Simon, Simon Milligan, on his, uh, on his channel with the following question, which I've copied and pasted. Mr. Webb, one gets the impression of you assiduously, some might say obsessively, searching the internet for anything that might enable you to continue your determination to show black people in the most negative way possible. I'm also unsure whether you fully understand some of the complex scientific issues to, ref to refer to this channel. I've asked you several times what academic qualifications you hold, and yet you have never responded. I can't help wondering why you are so fixated on the issue. This issue. Many of the comments on videos such as this are openly racist, sometimes quite viciously so. What exactly are you trying to achieve? These are all good questions. Let's deal with a few objections to this first. I don't think knowledge is something that's secret and should be hidden in boxes or kept from anyone. If we were arguing about literature or art, we can have an argument all day and people who have no formal schooling might even beat me or offer me point of view I'd never even thought of. But when we're talking about STEM subjects and hard science subjects, this is knowledge that is quantifiable and was gained by hard work and research. And Simon is chucking up documents from people or authorities in these fields and just chucking them out there. This results in people popping stuff down the bottom of his videos, where basically you end up with sort of comments about they can all go back home. That explains the shoplifting. We don't, that's all we need to know. And, and other silliness. Let's share these documents because it's only fair if I'm going to critique him to share the documents. Now, these are not exactly short documents, and one of them is translated from Spanish. Um, and you're going to have to put up with my awful attempts at Spanish again or, for the title, Revista Palista de Pidriacha. Anyone who can speak Spanish pro watching properly and feels I've destroyed the Spanish language, please feel free to contact me for an apology because I know my Spanish is absolutely awful. Here's the abstract. Objective, vitamin D deficiency, VDD, in pregnant women and their children is an important health problem with severe consequences for the health of both. Thus, the objectives of this review are to reassess the magnitude and consequences of VDD during pregnancy, lactation and infancy, associated risk factors, prevention methods, and to explore epigenetic mechanisms in early fetal life, capable of explaining of the non-skeletal benefits of vitamin D. Data source, original and review articles and consensus documents with elevated level of evidence for VDD-related clinical decisions on the health of pregnant women. Now, at no point does this abstract summarise it as just talking about black people. The other document Simon uses does talk about Afro-Caribbean people. 
However, Simon has chosen to use it to support a notion that it can be used to support a notion that he has leaped to somehow in a in an amazing leap uh, that where he has leaped from this document, which says vitamin D status of the British African Caribbean residents, analyze analysis of the UK biobank cohort. He has used this to leap from point A to point B, with point B being Simon's view that we can assume that black and Afro-Caribbean people have achieved relatively little. This is a cultural and social assumption anyway, Scientists are unlikely to make that kind of assumption in this kind of document anymore for good reason. And if we look at the names on it, it's quite fascinating. Now, I'm going to take what the first, the second name on it, Catherine H. Hart, because Catherine Hart has her details publicly listed on Surrey University. So therefore, I'm not revealing anything hidden or horrid about her and it also has her other details just at the top of this abstract that may not be true for everyone here here's Catherine Hart senior lecturer in nutrition and dietics PhD nutrition bachelor of science nutrition and dietics it gives you some more details about her down further um, let's see my qualifications PhD nutrition, BSc, postgraduate certificate in academic, academic practice, probably required for teaching, diploma in advanced dietic practice. The question arises, Simon, what the hell are you doing criticizing this stuff? I wouldn't even step into this field. You're not going to understand these documents. You're trying to jump from nowhere into documents written by people who've probably taken seven to 10 to 12 years to us to study to just get there and maybe are now working in these fields for 10 to 20 years and to prove bizarre contentions which let's be frank they're racist bollocks i could dis dismantle you academically and knock you down bit by bit all day but it's not worth it you're only using this stuff to try and lend a spurious air of authority to yourself. That's all. You've done it before. You'll keep doing it. That's all it's been used for. Let's take a section from vitamin D status of the British African Caribbean residents. I'm going to choose a state, a section totally at random. I'm just going to scroll down the page. And I'm going to choose a, a section at random. I notice they've written it in the same way that people write up this stuff all the time where it's sectionalized. But let's have a look at, oh, the section should do. Oh, actually, I'll skip a bit further forward. Reasons for missing 25 OHDDA up. For 25 OHD, the um, number equals 937 participants' measurements were under the assay detection limit and therefore recoded to 7.1 nmlo per litre. Do we think Simon actually understands this stuff? Let's take a bit more. I'm going to highlight this section because I think this is classic. Within the AC group, presumably standing for Afro-Caribbean, because typing that all the time would drive someone nutty writing stuff like this, and I presume someone's put a note up further saying they're going to just do that. A man-Whitney test showed a gender with a difference in 25 OHD P equals 01. Does Simon know what a man-Whitney test is? I don't know. Let's look one up. Do you see now where, I, where I'm coming from? I've read two small sections out and I'm already having to go and look stuff up. And that doesn't mean I know about it. It just means I've looked some stuff up. Man-Whitney U-Test, also called the Man-Whitney-Wilcoxian-Wilcoxian-Ranksum test, is a non-parametric test of the null hypothesis that for randomly selected values X and Y from two populations, 
the probability of x being greater than y is equal to the probability of y being greater than x. Do you suspect that Simon actually looked that up and understands this sort of stuff? Or do you suspect that he is just selecting these documents by doing simple Google searches and trying to chuck them in to suggest that, like, this shows why the black people don't do nothing and why they don't go to museums, etc.? Which probability, which seems more probable to you? I'll leave that to you to decide. And I'll have a glass of water after that. <laughs> 